Lindy and Robert, thanks very much for being on the show. Thank you, it's Andrew. A pleasure. It's good. How's my sincerity? Is it good? Yeah, pretty it's... good. <laughs> you guys have just uh, come back from five years in cheery, sunny England. Is it mm. good to be back in Australia? It is. It's, um, it's good to be here in summer. And it's good to be at the beach. Yeah. yeah. You don't miss England particularly? Um, no, I don't miss that sort of movement, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, I do know what you mean, yeah. actually, Robert. Now, Can you... I ask, is that a wig? No, it's it's um it's just a hair tint. Why? Don't you think it works? Mm, probably not. No. Well, I'm not commenting on your gold chains, okay, Robert. Okay. <laughs> I like your hair, though, Lindy. That's very nice. Well, the makeup girls in the well, the makeup boy and the makeup girl out the back did a good job. Yes, they certainly yeah. did. It's wonderful. I, I, I'm I, I miss England a bit. Yeah. 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 Not... I miss it a bit. I find it very sunny here. You've got that persistent light coming yeah, in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I had a few friends there. It's hard yeah. to keep a tan off, really, isn't it, in this sort of climate? Um, am I slow? No, no, no. <laughs> now, you guys were brought up in Brisbane, which might mean you're slow, I don't know. Uh, what was it like growing up in Brisbane? We heard the Dubbo jokes last week, Andrew. We're not getting into Brisbane jokes, believe me. Please. No. Come and sit it down, actually, and tell me what it was like living in Brisbane. Robert, you first. How was life in Brisbane? Uh, it was wonderful. I... I, I have a... Um... A deep love for Brisbane. Seriously? It's, yes, I think it's a wonderful place. And uh, my parents live there. And my brother lives there. And they're very happy there. And um, I have I was back there at Christmas. I spent Christmas with my family. And I was there for five weeks. And I enjoyed that very much. I played a bit of golf. Golf? For about... Uh, I played about golf four or five times. You went to a, an old boys' school, uh, secondary school, didn't you? I, I did that too, and I can assure you it warped me a bit. Did it do anything to you? Uh, it, it does warp you, yeah. In I, what way? I th well, it becomes very one-sided. The only thing that you ever, when you're, um, say, reading books or uh, learning about history, the only perspective that you ever have on it is the male perspective. And I, I always would have liked to have had... Um, women, girls, in the in my class so I could um, hear what they thought of um, a whole, you know, what we're reading, what mm. we're learning. It would have been good. It really made uh, spin the bottle a drag too, didn't it? <laughs> it did. It, 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 it a made drag, very, so to speak. It made it very lonely. <laughs> yes, terribly lonely. Yeah. Now, Lindy, you, uh, have you turned out, do you think, as your parents would have liked, a drummer in a rock and roll band? No, <laughs> no, I don't think so. What would that But then I don't think parents, ex if, if they have girls, they want them to turn out to be plumbers or train drivers either. Else there'd probably be a few more of them around as well. I think they would have preferred me to get married and have children. There's a pretty big tradition of women doing that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it goes right back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why didn't you? Um, I, I never wanted to get married because I... I it's always felt it was a bit of ownership, you know, somebody owns you. And um, I don't, I just always wanted to keep doing what I was doing. Well, rock and roll is a pretty macho world, generally. That's largely the image put across. Do you have to put up with a fair bit of sleaziness or condescending attitudes from men in the industry? I've got pretty good at being sleazy and condescending myself. And <laughs> So have I, let me tell you. <laughs> don't you dare stroke my neck. Oh. <laughs> She's much taller than I am. Am I? I didn't think I was that tall. That's Everybody's tall much taller than I am, Lindy. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got more testosterone than I have. <laughs> Let's not get into pharmaceuticals, please. Yeah. But, you know, how do you... Do you cop much of that, oh, well, she's a woman drummer, she's not the real thing? Um, pretty constantly, pretty constantly. It's not... Now that I'm older, it's not as bad, but when I was younger, nearly every single day. <laughs> well, how do you deal with it? How did I deal with it then? Yeah. I was just developed a very aggressive way of dealing I just turned into what I've been commonly called a bully well for example you know imagine I'm sleazy type B and said and well, she's no good she's just a woman and I'm five years younger yeah I would have thrown a glass of beer at okay let's not role play too far <laughs> <laughs> just hypothesize on this one Robert I'm, do, do you sorry. find yourself uh, unconsciously or subconsciously treating uh, Lindy or Amanda a bit differently are you more gentle with them than you might be with a guy uh, no, not really. I think when we started the band, we always, um, I knew it was going to be um, a band of both sexes. So it's, it's no issue with you, really? Mm. Mm. Now, you've 
occasionally. I'm sorry to drag this up. I'm sure this is dragged up all the Claire, time. Is but... that a wig? No, it's a, it's a tent. The people at Clairol are going to be furious with you. They are. They should be. No, it's, no. speaking of dressing up, Rob, you've occasionally dressed up in a dress on stage. Is that right? Um, once or twice, but I don't think I've ever been in a TV studio with something like, oh. this, like this gentleman here. Warren. I quite like it. I quite like this it. This is Warren the Millionaire Floor Sweeper. And, uh... <laughs> It's, it's good, it's good. I, I heard that, that Asia was going to be on the show tonight with James Scanlon. Yes, all of them. I know, and I, th I, I thought that that might have been Asia, but... Uh... No. No, you're giving away the whole show. Oh, Don't tell them about Frank Sinatra, for God's okay. sake. <laughs> Very disappointed. Okay. When you dressed up in a dress, I mean, mm. did, why did you do it? For fun? Um, well, if you're... If you wear pants all your life, which most men do, I think that maybe some men become curious as to what it might feel like to wear a dress. I only did it two times, and I think it's, um... If right, I, but that's not true. You used to walk around the bedroom all the time in a nightgown. In, in a gown, maybe. But, um, I think it's, it's a good feeling. It's, um... But it, it's something you can't do on the street, unfortunately. It's I'll, not, it's, I'll, they're not, it's not very functional not wearing dresses, really. Really? Well, for instance, here's my tuning key. If I had jeans on, I'd be wearing that in my jeans, wouldn't I? Right. I have to wear a specially shaped dress like this so I can spread my legs. Mm. You know, it's not very functional wearing women's clothes. Um, he, when you wear heels, you can't run very fast down the street if you've got the Murphys after you. Do you, um, or why, why are you wearing trousers now? Um, well, because I feel comfortable in them. The same reason that you're wearing them, the same reason he's wearing them. No, I'm wearing them because my dress is at the dry cleaners. <laughs> Andrew Denton, I bet you've never worn a dress. I bet you've never worn Actually, a dress. Actually, when, when I was four, and I thought my parents were lying about this for years, and then one day I, I suddenly remembered it was true, I always wanted to be a nun. I used to dress up. I used to dress up like a nun because I liked the rosary beads. I bet they whipped that out of you. Well, not exactly. Um, <laughs> my parents weren't that Catholic. If, Lindy, if you were raising a, a, a boy, I mean, would you raise him... How would you raise him to be tough for? Um, well, I'd give him dolls from the start. And, what sort, um, though? Um, just pretty little girl dolls, boy dolls. I don't care what sex they are. Um, I'd... I'd, uh, I'd um, probably... Ha I'd teach him to sew buttons on within the first two years of his life. Uh, because a lot, a lot of men don't know much about sewing, mm. and um, I don't know. I know if I had a girl, then I'd make her wear um, pants all the time. I, I can't understand why little girls are put in dresses. Even if all the other little girls were wearing dresses, and your little girl wanted to wear one as well. Oh dear! Oh, oh, what a terrible thing! <laughs> I don't know, but I think that I just. I just know it would be more functional for her and she'd get stronger if she was wearing clothes that she didn't have to worry about climbing trees or um, being athletic or um, playing rugger. If, if she had to with the boys, she could, could do it. So she could at least get strong. Because if you're strong, at least you can compete somehow in the streets. Robert, uh, do you worry about being thought of as a wimp? No. If somebody were to front you in a pub and say, you're bloody wimp and have a go at you, would you I'd defend yourself? Away. You'd run away. <laughs> I run quite fast.